Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. And uh, we're here in Wind Gap. Wind, Wind Gap? Wind Gap? Wind Gap. <laughs> I'll say it wrong. Uh, at their little nature park, which is really nice. And we did just go out that road for another video. But now we're doing this video. And what we're talking about today is a video that Mark, uh, you know who you are, asked me about previously is do I think the amount of bikes I currently own is too many bikes? And this is the lovely ducks over there. It's a lovely spot actually if you ever want to come out here. But anyway, it's, uh, we're not going to walk around it. There's a little loop here that you can do. It's a fine, a fine little walk. Not very long, but it's nice. That's not a real bird. Those are real birds. <laughs> But basically, at the moment, if you don't know, um, <gasps> Doggy! Hello, Doggy! <laughs> if you don't know, hello! If you don't know, I own, um, well, uh, more than four bikes, but I have four bikes that are insured and taxed um, to be ridden on the roads. Now, one of them at the moment is, of course, the Jixxer, and the Jixxer is currently not uh, road ready because it's ready for the track and that does kind of play into why I think four are okay for for now um okay ish but yeah anyway let's get on the road and we'll talk about it this is bumpy but the Magna is basically an off-roader well it's, it's not really but anyway <laughs> so essentially yeah if you if you follow the channel you know how many bikes I own that's really low um, and I don't often really talk about this but I think the way Mark posed the question to me made me think about it and it wasn't even like our four bikes too many because I mean how many how many old bikes how many <laughs> if you own older bikes like classic e-bikes that I have three of my bikes what I would consider kind of classic bikes uh, how many of those ones are too old or too many to own and honestly kind of I don't think there's an answer for that I think, I think it's okay to own as many as you want the way I'm kind of reading that question is how many are too many to have on the road at once and Mark by the way correct me in the comments if, if I'm reading that question completely wrong um, and I do think that having okay I do think that having four on the road at once is actually a bit too many um, and I'll explain why so for instance right now this bike is due an oil change and so is the CVF that's expensive you have to get your oil for the two bikes that is a lot of wind and you all I apologize if you can only hear wind it's actually really really windy it's not my oh it's not my audio setup it's just really really windy and the wind caught me around that corner a little bit there but anyway, um, so you have to take into account all of your servicing and everything else. The insurance is actually okay. So I pay insurance for all four bikes and they kind of, at the moment, they base it off the Jixxer. If I took the Jixxer off the policy, <clears throat> it would probably be a good bit cheaper. It's just that the bike, that's the bike they see as the biggest, the highest risk bike, I suppose. And they're probably not wrong either, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, but you know, so the insurance is okay. Tax then, obviously if I only had one bike, it'd be 88 euro a year instead of 88 by four, which is like what? 306, four sixes is 24. Let me, 320. 344 euro is what I currently pay per year on my tax, right? Which is actually like a lot when you compare it to just 88 if you had one bike. But then you also have upgrades and stuff like I'd love to put a new brake caliper on, onto this bike and change the master cylinder and stuff like that but at the moment you know at the moment I I instead invested in getting my Falco t in tip top condition which was expensive and that's kind of where I spent all of my bike park money on for the last several months so no bike parts coming for this one uh, uh, soon anyway you know, it was the same last year, I spent all of my bike park money on the Jixxer. The CBF is actually still relatively stuck, uh, when you think about it that way. Which is actually, you know, not it's not a bad thing, I, I kind of like it like that. But if you were to look at it in that you wanted to do all four at once, it would be exceedingly expensive, and also just the time sink from actually fitting all those parts would be a lot, uh, like a lot, lot. So, Yes, I do think that four on the road at any one time uh, is actually too many on the road at any one time. I, I, I'm not happy saying that out loud, but, you know, it is what it is. And I do think that at some point in the near future, I'll probably have to sell a, a bike in order to just, to just 
cut it back down because one thing at the moment like I said that's kind of saving me a little bit is the fact that I just have the jigsaw left in track form but every single time I walk into the shed and this is no word of a lie today again the same thing every time I walk into the shed I look at it and I think to myself I really want to take that bike out like I really want to take that bike out and I can't because it has track fairings on uh, it has track tires on which are not suitable for using on the road and that kind of sucks I'm not gonna lie to you that kind of sucks I don't like uh, the more I think about it the more I don't know will I ever have a track only bike because I just love my bikes too much I love having them there just being able to you know walk out to the shed on a whim and say okay I want to take out that one you know and then at the same time I also hate feeling like I ignore a bike um, you know it's funny I actually I get asked quite a lot about this one uh, in that um, you know I, do I ride it much anymore you know people close to me have asked me that because they, you know I don't meet up with them on it but the thing is this bike actually gets ridden quite a bit um, not distance wise but it gets ridden you know days wise quite a bit now don't you reverse out and kill me okay I don't know why you're there anyway um, <clears throat> but what happens there is basically or what happens there is this is my me time bike you know if you watch the channel you know I adore this bike and it is this is very much the bike I generally ride when I'm just going out to clear my head and that's that's why you don't see it as much because this is this bike is for me you know <laughs> I just love it so so much it's um it's such a nice bike to just take out and ride and ride at any pace you know I can ride this bike happily at a slow pace I can ride it fast ish I mean it's not a very fast bike oh we can still lean it though out apex you know it still moves when you want it to <laughs> But you know, to, to Max's point, I suppose, is would I miss anything from my life if, or maybe it's not Max's point, but either way, the point I'm making is would I miss anything from my life if I only had this bike in the CBF, for instance? I don't think so. Um, I'd probably miss the track, but it'd save me a lot of money. I could still do like slower track days on the CBF. And I would definitely miss the Falco because I really, really love that bike. But at the same time, you know, you have to, like, I put <laughs> all of my money <laughs> uh, into my bikes, you know. They are, they are my life, or they're a huge part of my life, I should say. There are other parts of my life, but those ones are none of your business. And, um, you know, it's where I spend a good 80% of my disposable income is, is on bikes. You know, not everyone has the choice to do that, you know, people have kids, people have this, that, the other. So, it, yes, I suppose to get to the, the very end of the point, I do think that four on the road at any one time is it's too many. It's too many. It's a lot to maintain from an actual maintenance perspective. It's a lot to maintain from a, a getting out and riding them perspective. You know, Max mentioned that he has, he has a few as well and that he nearly has a schedule for them. And I, I get that. You know, you nearly would have a schedule of which bike you have to ride on any particular day. Um, not that you have to but if you want especially if you have carbed bikes two of my bikes are carbed so I, they have to be ran every now and again uh, the CBF and the Falco are uh, fuel injected so they're not as bad but you know it's just it's just one of those things it's one of those things that I think until you actually get to the point that you have you know X amount of bikes you'll be like oh, okay no I, I'd love that many I, I would never not have multiple bikes again. I like having multiple bikes, um, especially since, you know, I do use my CBF on the daily. Well, actually, at the moment, um, I, I get to borrow one of my dad's cars a good bit, which is really nice. It's a very nice car, so thanks, Dad. Um, you know, for crappy weather. And I haven't gotten to do that for a long time, so it's, uh, it's, it's, that's very nice. That's very nice. Um, but at the same time, I, you know, if you gave me the choice between having two bikes and a bike and a nice car, I'd pick two bikes every day of the week. That's just that's just how I am now. <laughs> I've been changed. Um, oh, and we're in Callan, by the way. If you've never seen this before in a video, this is Callan. Uh, it was once voted uh, one the place, I think the place or one of the places in Ireland that had changed least over 20 years. 
and whether you think that's a good or a bad thing I will uh, leave up to you but yeah it's it's more than just so basically like I'm not saying you know oh don't get the echo that's a cool charge don't get you know multiple bikes and keep them on the road all at once because it's so expensive it's not only expensive um, it's it's taxing from a you know a time perspective uh, on the maintenance side of things if you do your own work and if you don't do your own work it's going to be even more expensive it's also taxing on the time perspective from do oh hold on a second <laughs> I don't want to be too loud because people live here <laughs> that was fun you know it's taxing from a time perspective um, upgrades it's expensive yeah it's just it's just it's just a lot um, but like I said that's I'm okay with that for me it's fine but I suppose from the point of other people maybe it is not so that I suppose is my answer to the question I don't think you can ever own too many bikes um, but you can definitely you can definitely have more than is uh, like comfortable on the road at any one time that's how I'll phrase it oh yeah you see this little water pump here so that back in the day that would have been an actual operable, operable water pump uh, so you know people would have come here to, to get water so it's a little plaque there 2014 restor restored in memory of those who used this pump in times gone by that's pretty nice but those are cool little things you know you, that's and that's common to a lot of places i suppose you would have had the town's water and you would have had to walk and pump it uh, which still happens in places in the world by the way not everyone is lucky enough to have running water in their homes but yeah i suppose from my perspective at the moment like i said because the jigsaw is kind of track ready i have three and i think three is absolutely fine i think if you have three on the road at any one time that is that is actually quite quite comfortable for me anyway if you ride bikes every day of the week or almost every day of the week you can easily rotate through them you know i use the cbf for going to work I could get home and jump on this or jump on the Falco uh, but again you have to understand I suppose my level of uh, love, passion, whatever you want to call it for bikes I just it's it's my happy place I love being out of them I love doing stuff with them I love servicing them I love maintaining them it's, you you would want to be fairly committed to them I suppose to have three on the road at any one time but you know don't be put off buying multiple classics and just keeping one or two on the road at, at any one time that's absolutely fine and i suppose it depends on your country's laws you know if you don't have to pay tax like we do every single year uh, on the bikes it might make a hell of a lot more sense you know if you don't if you can just ensure on a policy as many bikes as you like and there's no extra charge to it if it's just a flat insurance rate that would be better as well but unfortunately that's not how it works here every single bike has to be taxed individually and every single bike has to be insured individually you can get a multi-bike policy like i have but that's also generally limited to how many bikes you can put on it so that is um that's a couple of key takeaways but yes i suppose to answer the question there is definitely a limit uh, where you say this is too many this is too many and you know to that point i would be open to selling a bike at some point i suppose i get asked about it a lot uh, there is one of my friends who is very interested in the falco i'm still not sure i want to sell the falco because I, I really really have been taken by that bike um and also i suppose the only two bikes i would sell is the uh falco and the cbf because this is never ever getting sold and the jigsaw is never ever getting sold so you know if you have an interest in either of those bikes send me a message or something on instagram or something like that and i don't know i don't know maybe you i don't, I don't know maybe you can convince me or maybe you can't i, I don't know <laughs> i'm not sure i want to do it and what that would do is it would allow me to get the jigsaw back on the road more often too so yeah <sighs> one day maybe one day and of course there's one other thing i did not mention is space um, obviously you need quite a lot of space uh, I'm extremely lucky in that my dad used to be or still is in construction but he's not as in construction as much as he used to be he's kind of semi-retired we shall say so there was space for a shed there for me to actually put a load of bikes and that is his shed it's not mine um, my bikes just live there and I am very lucky to have that space as well so you know those four bikes take up a hell of a lot of space especially if you want to move them around I can easily take any bike out at any time due to the size of the shed. I would imagine if you had to 
move a lot of stuff to get to a bike at the very back of a shed or something uh, that could definitely change your opinion as well you know if I had to move two bikes to get out number three all the time I would I would guarantee you number three would get used a hell of a lot less you know that's a fact that's a fact but yeah who knows um, like I said though I don't think there's actually too many bikes to own I would hope when I am in my old doddery years to have amassed quite a collection of bikes um, there's a fella I follow on Instagram I'll leave a link in, in the pinned comment or the description as well he has a huge motorcycle collection and uh, to be honest I would be quite happy if I ever got to that position that'd be pretty cool maybe one day we'll see and you know I think it goes back to the whole rider share thing when I was saying you know it'd be cool to be able to rent people bikes here you know a lot of the comments I got in that video are I would never let anyone else on my bike and I completely understand that there's definitely some bikes I wouldn't rent like this one um, but you know that's also what insurance is for and I would really like to have at least one bike that would be available for rent to people that you know because I like I love seeing people use my bikes and really enjoying them you know like the day uh, Chunky Mitts on Instagram my friend Aiden took out the Falco and he just had an absolute blast on it uh, you know that I get great enjoyment out of that because I think it's just a, a whole thing of how much I like I like the bikes I love seeing other people enjoy them as well so you know there's a bit of that to it there's a bit of that to it for sure But I think, yeah, if, if you were in a position where you could uh, rent out a few bikes or rent out one or two bikes or whatever else, that would definitely make it more reasonable um, to, to, to keep more on the road because if you weren't using it for two weeks and it got rented for two, three days in those two weeks, that'd be pretty good. You know what I mean? That's, that's, your, that's your running that you need to do on the bike. That's that completed. It's keeping it going. It might be your tax paid for, for the year that's not so bad you know what I mean that's not so bad that's um I'd be pretty damn happy with that that would that'd definitely make make me change my mind and like I said before maybe even buy more bikes because then I deserve them <laughs> but yeah let me know down in the comments what you think um how many bikes do you own would you like to own more would you like to own less are you like me in a position that you're like you're nearly you're nearly feel bad that you can't ride them all all the time uh, let me know. I am interested, very interested in hearing your responses. Um, do you think I own too many? Do you think that you know I'm, I'm a silly, I'm a silly person? And feel free to answer. You know, I don't mind. Uh, the only thing I will ask you not to do because it's happened before and it's just stupid. Don't make assumptions on my financial situation. Um, it's just annoying and you, you just come across as a bit of an asshole. So don't do that. But yeah, other than that, throw, your, throw all of your, your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I do love hearing from you. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. As always, a very special thank you to all of my patrons. I really, really do appreciate your support. Um, and I will say, you know, I said earlier, this is my kind of headspace bike. When I came out on this earlier today, I was not in the best of moods for multiple reasons. And now I am on top of the world. I feel absolutely great. So you know that's another reason to own a couple of bikes <laughs> and have your own your own little headspace bike if you know if you want one like that but yeah thank you again for watching adios outro crew let me know how many bikes you own and if you own multiple are they multiple are they multiple genres of bikes multiple styles of bikes or do you do you stick to having one, you know, just one class of bike? Are you only a sports bike guy? Are you only a cruiser guy? And guy, by the way, just to explain Irish colloquialism, guy doesn't mean male. Guy means people. I'm saying people, right? So, because there are, I see it in my analytics, there are plenty of females watching the channel and uh, I do appreciate you watching because I know, obviously, I'm a dude, so watching me is probably not what you want to be doing. You probably want to watch... Uh, one of the female channels out there, but hopefully you also find my topics interesting. Anyway, bye outro crew.